The Honey Creek Outdoors camera arms are meant for the everyday hunter. We don't get to go to the guided, guided spots and have one set up stand and be able to take in a really heavy camera arm. We're usually walking you know, close to a mile or more to get to a good spot that we feel we can kill a big buck in. So you want something that's light and can easily fit in a backpack. I have the whole Honey Creek Outdoors Elite camera arm in this backpack and I could fit other clothes in. If I had a long walk, I usually wouldn't wear all my clothes. I'd throw my bibs, I'd throw my jackets in there and the camera arm still fits, no problem. You can get up the tree real nice and easy. You don't have to worry about anything. Filming a hunt, everything takes a little bit extra time, a little extra care. The Honey Creek arm makes it really easy to do. We got this whole stand set up in less than five minutes. We only had one, one stand hung before. Seth climbed up first, set up the other lone wolf set up the camera arm, set up his camera, all in less than five minutes, and it's all very quiet. If you're trying to push a bedding area, you could be quiet the whole time. It doesn't make any noise. What's really nice about this camera arm is when the deer are coming in, there's very little movement involved to keep filming that deer and the hunter. He's got the camera on me right now up here, but that deer, if he's anywhere in front of us, anywhere behind us, he can get it on the camera. As that deer comes in, I, if he comes in a shooting range, I'm never worried about Seth being on the deer when I want to shoot it. He's always filming everything. I've never asked him once if he's on when I want to kill that deer because I know he's going to be on it with the Honey Creek arm. Say, say that deer comes in from over there. Say, say he stops right here and I shoot him right where you guys are standing, right where you're filming from. If that deer, once I hit him, tries to run back where he comes from and then stops like going uphill and tries to go down here, Seth's not going to have any problem filming it from all the way down here over here and then he can even wrap it all the way back around himself and film it die right over there. The greatest thing about this camera arm is how smooth all the footage, all the movement of the camera is. This is a perfect example of a tree that's not per perpendicular to the ground. We're going to have a lot of angle on it. The camera arm is fully adjustable. We're going to get level film and we're going to get it in every direction. He's adjusting the levers right now, adjusting the knuckle on there. Now we're perfectly level, set up, ready to go. You just throw your camera on the on the head, and you're gonna have perfect film. It's a few times we've set up two stands, we've set up the camera arm all in about 10 minutes. Now, after doing it a few times, doing it all season, we do two stands, sticks, camera arm all in about five minutes, and it's all perfectly silent. The pull strap, you don't need a ratchet strap. You can use a pull strap to attach it to the tree and get it level and you're ready to, you're ready to hunt